Okay. Don't show your nerves. Lambak, I'm coming! Wherever you're hiding. Hiding? There's our honored guest. We must admit, we progress faster than expected. There's something I want to share with you, but it is not that The only thing you should share right now is the Hellion. Is that charming? 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 Valeria, you're cloning Valeria. Answer me. We are doing so much more. When we are done, she will be much stronger than she ever was. Are you not grateful? You copied Hemlock too. And failed miserably so far. I guess I'm next on the list. No. You and Hemlock share the same human strain, the same complexity. We failed on Hemlock. We do not want to commit energy into another doomed endeavor. That's all the same. your organic mass into we will be enough for the treat. The same human strain? What are you talking about? You were modified somehow. Incidentally, your potential is incredible. My endurance is waning. You copied Hemlock too. And failed miserably so far. I guess I'm next on the list. No. You and Hemlock share the same human strain, the same complexity. We failed on Hemlock. We do not want to commit energy into another doomed endeavor. Absorbing your organic mass into we will be enough for the treat. The same human strain? What are you talking about? You were modified somehow. Incidentally, your potential is impressive. Modified? By whom? Your energy signature is undefinable and absolute. As if every part of the universe were merged into it. Only a being of an absurd amount of power could make a human strain gifted with the ability to feed from raw energy and replicate it at will. What do you mean by human strain? Superior beings may sometimes invest huge amounts of power to create their own versions of humans. Half-breeds, gifted with powers of their creator. Ascended. You and we are not so different after all. We both are numerous. Your human strain seems to be interconnected with each other, tapping in each other's potential to reach new heights of power. Stronger together. That's why you couldn't copy us. It seems even you have limits, Lambak. Indeed, our honored guest. The only thing we could replicate is Hemlock's pain. A permanent suffering that could hardly be translated to words. What's tormenting him so much? He's left him with free will, as long as he furthers the interests of the Blind Prince. Even though his leash is short, his consciousness only accumulates the guilt of being powerless to prevent the destruction of what he cares for. We're surprised his mind hasn't fully collapsed yet. But enough about him. Before we absorb your organic mass, we want you to know of our successes more than our failures. You shouldn't bother, really. We have made great progress on replicating her. Behold. Please, no. No! No! Kill me! We ruin them. Luckily, we have spares. This needs to stop, Lambak. Where is the damned Helion so that we finish this? Very well. You are close now. We will meet you there. Another primordial catalyst like the one below Stormfall. It's redirecting Corp... Welcome to our personal chamber, honored guest. It is here that our creator... Asheroth the Aberrant created us. 
so that we could bestow his gift on Cordenor. Please do offer your organic mass. You will be part of something much greater. Sorry to disappoint, Lambag, but it will have to be a no. You said you knew where the piece of the Helion was. I don't see anything. We did not lie. The previous bearer of the artifact reached our chamber to defy us. The relic you want joined the Wii. You may enter in contact with it once you have provided us your organic mass, for it is inside of us. You ate it? Oh, come on, Lambak. I've had enough of your games. We finish this right now. Either it's dead, or it's really pissed off. We're gonna need more than that to take the lead. Flattered. Farewell, Lambak. Oh. 
Finally. This better be worth it. The more you resist our prayers, the longer it will take for you to heal! You made it back. Tell me you have some good news. I got the first piece of the Hellion. Impressive. I told you. As long as one of us is left standing, hope remains. Now, you've secured a chance to stop Fury's ascent. We almost died back there. Val, how do you feel? <clears throat> I'm getting better. Thanks to their witchcraft. Unfortunately, resting isn't an option. We have to join my brothers garrisoned at the Vault of Truth, where the second half of the Hellion awaits. Once it's whole again, they will march with us on the Republican fortress of Crimson Keep. You're quick to speak of war for a man that was recently wounded. We ascended are gifted with imbued resilience. So I hear. Still, it will take more than us alone to make our way to the ritual. How do you even know the conflux of energies is inside the Crimson Keep? When my order first saw the signs of Fury's ascent, we studied them. And it led us there. You were part of the Brotherhood operation that attacked it? We didn't attack it. We wanted to approach the strange structure in its center that Republicans call the Monolith and study the signs of Fury's ascent to stop the ritual before it even began. However, when we arrived, the Monolith activated. Demonic spawns of fury started appearing, pacifying Republican and Brotherhood soldiers alike, and sending them against those that resisted. I managed to escape due to my abilities, but Crimson Keep fell to the pacification soon after, now protecting the ritual place and Araman's coming. Crimson Keep. We used to hear rumors about it, about this strange monolith too. It's a remote fortress in the Northern Barrens known as the Red Wastes. Yes? Yeah, it checks out. This fortress is known even amongst Republicans for its secrecy. I'm not surprised that they were using it to quarantine this monolith. Well, we know what we have to do. Hand me the piece of the Hellion and get ready to depart. The road ahead won't be pleasant.